Alright. What's, What's up, up guys? What's up guys? We're back, episode two. Screech tutorial. Yeah, we're not doing side chaining side just chance. yet. Side chains next. next one. Next. We're gonna yeah. side ch side chain some screeches. Yeah. So we thought it'd be a good idea. Make one. Yeah. Make a screech, side chain it. Yeah. Show you what everything is on. Everything's all about, man. Alright. So with screeches there's basically like three fundamental things that you need for a screech. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you need a filter, you need distortion, and obviously you need an oscillator. <laughs> obviously. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to have a play around and show you the process I use when I'm making a screech. Yeah, so um, we'll probably shut up and just <laughs> have a fiddle. I have a fiddle. Yeah. And yeah, and enjoy it, basically. Um, a lot of people give serum flack because it doesn't oh, yeah. sound alive. It, but it's a bit digital because it's yeah. a wavetable synth. But, uh... <laughs> it's, it's got it's some nice. good uh got some good sounds yeah. for making it. Give me a snot, make a nice little screechy pattern. Yeah. Things. It's good. It's very uh, we can do some very complex complex synth patches yeah. in here. So uh, yeah, let's get cracking. Let's let's do this. And yeah, that's, that's essentially um, the process behind making like a simple screech. And as you can hear, it sounds quite dirty, quite distorted, quite raw, quite hard style. Mm -hmm. So what I did was just put a filter on there, bring the resonance up a little bit, and just find a place in the cutoff that gives it like a, a feeling as if it's alive. Mm -hmm. um, uh, then just distort it with the tube distortion. You can play around with the uh, different functions, uh, make a band pass by bringing this up. See that? Okay, nice. EQ'd it, brought the highs up just a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> and compress it uh, a little bit. Uh, use multi band. Uh, you can also play with the chorus effects. Um, any of these really, phaser, flanger, chorus. Obviously, add delay and reverb, but you can do that externally. Um. Yeah. yeah and if you want to add more beef, I guess you can add a second oscillator. Um, 
Because if you're worried that it's a bit too thin, you can just have a second oscillator on a different octave. Um, and yeah, you can do stuff like give it pulse width modulation, which uh, sometimes you might like instead of using the noise oscillator. Because I feel like both the PWM and noise is added to the synth to give it more of a analog sort of gritty, yeah, real feeling. Uh, so you chuck a LFO on there. Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> That's essentially a screech, um, how to make a screech, um, process behind making a screech, and yeah, you can play with filters, more so filters if you cool want, filters, like uh, combs, and combs and ring mods, I'll show you this one. And then it's a matter of adding external effects yeah. and playing at your will and adding uh, yeah, your own little flair to it. Yeah, just playing around really, but that's the basic basic process there. Yeah. Um, and I guess next, next episode, video, next video, we'll be showing you how to sidechain. <laughs> how to sidechain. How to sidechain. <laughs> <laughs> that screech to a kick. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's that's it. Cool guys. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Sick. See ya. <laughs>